everyone. Welcome to 5-Minute Fridays, where we take five minutes to close out our week in the Word of God. Today, uh, well, I want to do a couple things. First off, I want to show off my new hat. Uh, if, if you saw our video earlier, um, well, ours, Liz and mine, um, you probably saw that we are having another girl. So we're excited about that. Liz got me this hat to celebrate because the only other boy in my house is my dog. Uh, but very excited about that future. But what I also want to do today, this is the first Friday in Lent, and so I, I wanted to take a moment to just celebrate that fact to just celebrate the fact that this past Wednesday, we got to have Ash Wednesday, which is one of my personal favorite church days of the year, you know, because it kicks off the incredible season of tension that is Lent, where we get to dwell on the past while also accepting the present and looking forward to our future. And so today, I only want to look at one verse in the middle of, of what I feel like is the passage that sums up this tension, Colossians chapter 3, verse 10. Put on your new nature and be renewed as you learn to know your Creator and become more like Him. And the reason I want to share that verse with you is, like I said, Lent to me is, it is a season of tension. A season of remembering who we used to be, of remembering who we were, you know, what our identity was found in. And on Ash Wednesday, what do we do? You know, we remember our past. We remember the brokenness that, that caused Jesus to go to the cross. You know, we put our little ash cross on our foreheads in order to, to remind ourselves to be marked by that identity we used to have. You know, we even speak those words, from dust you came and to dust you shall return. All right, it's a really uplifting moment. But what I love about the Lenten season is that it truly is attention. Because, yes, we're remembering who we were, but at the same time, we're living in this moment of understanding that through the waters of baptism, you know, through the grace that is received in Christ's body and blood, through the grace that we hear week in and week out as, as the pastor speaks absolution over us having confessed our sins, we are no longer marked by sin, but are instead clothed in the righteousness of Christ. And trying to live in that tension is hard, all right? Because if you really think about it, you know, the season of Lent, the tension of Lent is kind of like a lot of crime TV shows or movies or something like that, you know? Uh, let me set it up for you. So you have this, the, this person who has just inherited an absurd amount of money, all right, or a huge house or something like that. They have received this inheritance because someone in their family passed away, all right? And, and throughout the movie, throughout the show, you know, they're trying to figure out how did this person die, only to find out at the end that the one who received the inheritance, the primary beneficiary, was guilty. Well, I feel like in Lent, we get to live through that reality. Because if you think about it, who is to blame for Christ's death? It's us. We are guilty, and yet in that same moment, we are the primary beneficiaries for what Christ earned for us. We are given everything because he sacrificed everything. And what I think is so beautiful about that is as we walk through Lent, that, that can create a weight on us of understanding that we are at fault while at the same time it's freeing to know that everything's been taken care of for us. And where this verse that I just read for you kind of fits in that is right in the middle of that tension because Paul has just described, you know, stop living in the past. Stop living in anger, in rage, in malice, in brokenness, in sexual immorality, in impurity, in all of this stuff. Stop being that. Put on the new self that was earned for you by Christ. Put on love. Put on gentleness. Put on kindness. Put it all on. And live as Christ has intended for you to do so. Not just for yourself, but so that the rest of the world will be able to see his light in you. And so as we kick off Lent, y'all, I hope you take a moment to live in that tension. To remember who you were where your identity was found in that mark of sin. To remember where you are, 
right now whose you are right now, that through the waters of baptism you are no longer marked by sin, but are instead clothed in his righteousness. And to look forward to the future you have because of that work that Jesus did, that eternity that is coming your way because of your faith in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Thank you.